Welcome to Sharjah, where farmers and engineers are preparing to welcome the first harvest of an enterprising wheat project. The excitement is palpable as harvesting machines are set to assemble at the fields in March, collecting the matured crops. This 400-hectare complex in Leha is about the size of 500 football pitches, and it is being handled by the Department of Agriculture and Livestock in Sharjah. The project's first phase was opened in November by Sheikh Dr. Sultan bin Muhammad Al Qasimi, ruler of Sharjah. Machine operators drove on the fields, disseminating seeds, and in just four months, the desert land at the base of Rocky Mountains has been transformed into a green oasis, ready to yield up to 1,700 tons of wheat. Dr. Khalifa Musbe Ahmed Al Taneji chairman of the Department of Agriculture and Livestock, explains that they are expecting to harvest between 15th March to 20th March. The wheat will then be sent to the local market in Sharjah and the UAE. The crop has been grown without the use of pesticides, chemicals, or genetically modified seeds, and after harvest, it will be sent to mills for processing to make the wheat edible. The farm's aim is to reach a total area of 1,900 hectares in phases. Dr. Alteneji explained the importance of growing the crop in a country that imports 1.7 million tons of wheat. Wheat is a strategic commodity with high nutritional value that can be stored for a long time. During the COVID-19 pandemic and the war between Russia and Ukraine, the world faced some problems in the provision of wheat and food supply chains. From that perspective, they received directives from Sheikh Dr. Sultan bin Muhammad Al Qasimi, the ruler of Sharjah, to start this farm. The farm is equipped with state-of-the-art technology, which includes soil sensors as well as satellites that perform thermal imaging of the site. The sensors can measure the quantity of water in the soil to avoid wastage. The farm also has an on-site weather station that can predict temperature, wind speed, and humidity for up to 48 hours. If rain is forecast, the farm cuts down on irrigation. The fields are irrigated using a reservoir with a capacity of 16,000 cubic meters. In one day, up to 60,000 cubic meters of water can be generated out using six large suction pumps. The farm uses pivot irrigation consisting of mechanized sprinkler systems which can be moved using motors. The satellite monitoring and sprinkler systems can be accessed remotely by using apps. From seeding to irrigation to harvest, all agricultural practices are automated and mechanized reducing the dependence on humans. Currently, the farm operates with the help of only two engineers and six to seven workers. As part of the project, experts also test and identify wheat varieties suited to environments such as the UAE. The crops are studied, monitored, and measured every day by experts. Based on these experiments, they select the best variety of wheat for the project, and work on developing them in the future. The crops production is an agricultural milestone for the UAE, as the country prepares to host the COP28 climate summit and strives to increase food security amid concerns over climate change. This innovative wheat project showcases how technology and agriculture can work together to create a sustainable and secure future for all.